I've picked a few of these basic lever locks in the past. These are the type of locks what you get in furniture at home and old uh, bureaus and uh, cabinets and whatnot. They come in different sizes. They've normally got two or four levers in there, but it's the same principle. This is a secure two lever one made in England. And basically I've had a few emails asking me about what's inside these locks. I've done videos in the past showing you what's inside these locks, but this is for beginners. So if you've watched my videos, and you're a regular subscriber, you're not probably gonna to wanna to watch this because you know exactly what's in these locks and you know how to pick them. This video is for somebody who's got a cabinet at home, they've lost the key and they wanna know how to pick it open. So they're really basic. Basically inside this lock is two levers and a bolt. Now the bolt needs to move from one side to the other to open up. And to do that, the levers are preventing the bolt from going across. So you need to actually push the bolt across and lift the levers up. Now you can use air grips in there, but the easiest way is to get an old key and file it down like that and just leave a little upright on it. So you put your key in, obviously make sure the key's the correct size to go into the lock, and then you turn it. And it'll only turn halfway because obviously it's trying now to push that bolt across, but it can't because the levers are in the way. So all you need to do is get some piano wire. You can use bobby pins, but like I say, if you've got a bit of piano wire, it's strong stuff, it's the best to use. And you put that into the lock as well. Now obviously if this was in your furniture, you wouldn't have to hold it in your hand, it'd actually be easier. But you can see, I can actually push that wire in and out of the lock. So we're gonna to go to the back of the lock and we're gonna just feel for the one lever at the back of the lock. And once we get onto that, we're just gonna lift it up in the air. That's gone up in the air now. I actually felt it move. But by the way, there's a little hole there. Obviously, if it was in your door or your cabinet, you wouldn't be able to see it. So I've covered it up. But we will lift that up after and show you how it works. Now, I've pulled my wire back out and I'm going onto the lever at the front. I've just lifted that lever up at the front and I've got a click. Now the lock's open. So rather than turn it fully, pull that out because it might hinder you. And then you can turn it and it'll open it up. Now, if you get to that stage and it's still locked, it's because the upright on that key hasn't thrown the bolt fully. So we need to put the wire in and then just flick the bolt across and then it will open up fully. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it apart. I'm gonna show you what's inside. I'm gonna put it back together and then we'll pick it again so you can actually see through the window. I know this is gonna be a long-winded video, but like I say, this is just for people who's never seen inside one of these locks. Right, so what we'll do now is take the front off. Now this is what's inside the lock. Obviously this is the bolt, what slides across. And those are the two levers we have to actually lift in the air so the bolt would go across. I'm just gonna take these out quickly, show you exactly what's in this lock. So that's your bolt. They're all pretty much and much alike. That's what slides across, locks and opens it up. So when you put in your key in, that goes in there like that, and you're trying to push it across like so. You can't push it across because the levers in there are stopping you doing that. And if you haven't got an old key, like I say, you can use two bits of wire. Use the one wire to lift the levers up and then the other wire, you can put it in and again, you can actually just push the bolt across with the wire. But it's easier if you've got an old key. So put that over there, we'll stick these two levers back in. So that's it back together again. So again, when you put your key in, and you turn it, it won't turn because obviously these levers need to go up in the air for the bolt to pass through the gates in the levers like that. So I'm hoping that's cleared things up for anybody what has got one of these and actually wants to know how to get it open. I've got the cover back on the lock. We're gonna pick it again. This time you can see the levers moving and you also know exactly what's going on inside this lock. So we're gonna put the key in. When we turn it, it stops halfway up and that's because it's trying to push the bolt across, as you've seen inside the lock. But obviously 
it won't go from that side to the other until we've lifted the levers up and it can pass through the gates in the levers. So we need to put the pick wire in. I'm going to just do it in my hand again. And all I do is put my finger and thumb on the key like that. You can actually put some up through the key, a little bar or screwdriver, which will give you better tension. But I've done this loads of times, so I don't need to do that. So we're going to go into the lock. We're going to lift up the lever at the back first. And you see that go up. And then we're going to lift the front lever up. Just touch them both slightly and it'll open. So that lock has opened again. Now watch as I turn it. You can see the bolt at the top passing through the levers. But like I said earlier, when you take it out, it hasn't fully thrown the bolt. So if we put that wire in now and just flick it across, it opens it up. Like I say, this video was for anybody who's got one of these at home, in the bureau or the desk or the drawer or whatever and can't open it. It'll give you a rough idea on how to open it. So that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.